David Shaw and Don Shirley were about to dive a record-breaking depth to recover the body of Dion Dreyer. This extremely ambitious plan was to be the world's deepest body recovery ever, a record-breaking attempt they both dubbed as the Big Dive. By 6.13 a.m., Dave began his dive into the deep waters of Bushman's Hole. He arrived at the bottom of the shot line, a minute and a half early than originally planned. As soon as he reached Dion's body, he took out the body bag and kneeled beside Dion's body as he tried to get it out of the mud. Thirteen minutes since the dive had started, Don Shirley got the signal to dive next to meet up with Dave at 725 feet deep for the first decompression stop. However, at 500 feet, Don saw that Dave's light, which was 400 feet right below him, was not moving at all. Dave was already 20 minutes into the dive and was expected to start his ascent by then, yet there was zero movement. Immediately, Don knew something was wrong. To know more about this horrifying story, click the link in the comment section.